Okay, I'm going to do a little screen flow broadcast here, recording, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show, um, start to finish, uh, after covering an event, I've covered about a thousand events um, in the last 10 years. I'm going to show how I bring the content into the computer, in this case photos and video clips, process that content, and then distribute it out to the internet. So I'm going to show the whole process here. done this before. I'm going to try to do it again from start to finish. Um, and I'm going to do a little narration during it so that I can answer some questions. I get a lot of questions from people about the whys and hows and, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to try to address those as I go through. And remember, always follow me at twitter.com slash craigship. And there's links to that, of course, at uh, craigship.com. Also, friend me on Facebook so you can tag some of the photos that you see on Facebook so that people that are in the photos can find them more easily. It's all about making it easy for people to find the photos. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my uh, Nikon camera. <clears throat> people ask me quite often about the gear I use. This is a Nikon D700. And I've got, on uh, for this event, I use the uh, 24 to 70 uh, f2.8 lens, commonly referred to as uh, Pro Pro Glass. I'm going to uh, put the uh, card, the CF card, out of here that has the photos on it into a Lexar um, CF card reader. This is a FireWire 800, so it's going to make the process of transferring the photos to Aperture very, very fast. So Aperture just came up automatically. That's the program that I use to um, go through and do some quick edits on the photos and, and get them ready to go. So I'm going to put this uh, camera back away. And I'm going to go through the process here. Okay, so they're in. Um, I'm going to, actually they're not in yet. I'm going to name this Washington. County, what are they actually called? Washington County Museum of Fine Arts. So I'm going to call this Washington County Museum. And uh, Courtyard. They had a grand opening for their, their covered courtyard that they put in um, today. So I went there and, and uh, covered that event. So I'm going to say import check. So it's importing them all in, and if I go here to Window, Show Activity, it's going to show me that there are 113 of them, and they're almost all in already. Again, this FireWire 800 card is very fast. I'm going to go back to Projects here. While I'm doing this, I'm going to launch iMovie, get that program going, because as soon as these photos are in, and which they are already in, um, I'm going to get the process started on bringing in the video clips. <clears throat> this is a Sony NEX VG10 camera with the stock lens on it. I like this for events. It's a very versatile camera. It does full 1080p uh, HD video. Alert from Aperture. Import complete. It's Aperture telling me that the import is complete. I'm plugging up the camera now. So I'm going to eject the memory card for the Nikon. And go ahead and take that out. Put that back in the Nikon. I'm going to format it before I forget because I've already got the photos in here safely. Actually, I'm not going to format it yet. I'm going to wait until I'm done processing the pictures. Then I'll format it just to be on the safe side because there's some good pictures on here. And I left the little door open on the Nikon camera to signal to me that I've not formatted that drive yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead into projects here and open up this project in Aperture. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to give this the command to import all. And I'm creating a new event, Washington County. Museum I'm 
I'm just going to call this Washington County Museum for the for the videos. I'm going to say import. Okay, so that's going to bring those in. While that's while those are importing on my left monitor. Again, I got three monitors here, so I can work multitask a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this image here. Go to the split view so I can see my pictures. Okay, so this is the first picture I took, evidently inside the facility all right and so that looks okay i'm not going to do a thing to it again i try to take these pictures so that they need as little processing as possible this one i'm just going to crop a little bit to um, get that exit sign out of it and get that other photographer out of it and just keep the washington county museum sign that's good just a little cropping on that one and that's the same picture, so I can delete that. I, I flag it, and then later I'll delete it. There's a, a picture of the roof. This is what they were celebrating, was this enclosure of the courtyard. So I'm going to just punch up the exposure a little bit on that if you want to. Again, you err on the side of underexposing as opposed to overexposing if you have your choice when you're out in the field. This one, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I don't need to do anything to that. Same deal, don't really need to do anything to that. Don't really need to do anything. Just wide shots showing the space. This is showing some of the people. Again, don't need to do anything to that. This is the cake they had. Really cool cake. Close up of the front door. Okay, don't really need to do anything to that. This one I'll brighten up just a hair. I'll brighten that one up a hair. Brighten that up just a little bit. And just a little bit on that one. I like that picture. I like the colors in the back. All those colors, the balloons in the back. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to crop this one just a little bit just to get these arms and so forth out. Try to keep that exit sign. Keep his his head in it. And just like that, clean that image up just a little bit. Still get those nice colors in the back. Okay, here's some of the placards. Those look good. Looks very readable. Good. That one's good. And again, some group shots. That's not the best. I'm going to tag that one. I don't think I'm going to keep that one. Uh, that one will work. That'll work. Why'd he have to close his eyes? Well, most of the people look okay. So I'm going to go ahead and Actually, I'm going to dash that one. I don't like that picture. Okay. This one, brighten it up just a hair. That's a duplicate. Duplicate. Okay. And then this one, brighten that up just a little bit. That one looks good. That's almost a duplicate. I'm flagging the ones I want to get rid of. And over yonder here, I'll bring this over onto the monitor. Um, iMovie now tells me that the import is complete of the video clips. So I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to say Done. And again, I was doing this, I was importing these on the other monitor, on the, on the uh, extra monitor over here to the side, to the left side. So, Go on over, here's another wide shot. I like that, it gets the atrium. It gets the speaker. I like that shot. And that 24 to 70 lens is a very good lens. It, it doesn't tend to distort as much as you might think, even at wide open at 24 millimeter. There's a picture of the lights close up. That's a duplicate. They used them after it started raining. Some nice architecture shot. Get another view of the space the trees, you can see them in the background. 
like I like that. Here are some of the decorations. Just have to take time to smell the flowers a little bit. And people ask me why I take photographs at events like this and so forth, what my goals are, and and uh, ph photography for me is a way of capturing beauty and capturing wonderful events and capturing people and their lives and, and so on and then preserving that information to be re looked at later. Um, there are usually a number of people taking photographs at an event like this, and, but where are the photos going to end up? Are they going to accidentally delete them years from now when they sell a computer? Are they going to go with the computer? Are they going to have a hard drive crash and lose those images? Even if they do put them up on the internet, on Facebook or somewhere like that, are they going to be organized in such a way that people can find them easily? My thing is I like to put the photos up in such a way and organize them in such a way that they're relatively easy to be found later and, and looked at. And so that's why we publish the articles on the community websites like Frederick.com, like WashingtonCounty.com. That's why we put them up on Flickr in such a way that they're organized, they can be found. Um, and so it's one thing to capture an event. It's another thing to have that information easily accessible to anybody in the world, and that's what we try to do. beautiful scissors they had there for the ribbon cutting. And this gentleman came down, Christopher UHL, oh, I guess. Um, he came down from uh, from Governor O'Malley's um, office, Intergovernmental Affairs, Western Maryland Coordinator. So he works out of Baltimore. Very energetic gentleman. Um, I like that one with his arms by his side. That one's pretty good. I'm going to crop this one a little bit. And he asked me to uh, send him a link to some of these pictures, so I'm going to crop that one about like that. I'm going to increase the black point on it just a little bit, make it a little more dramatic. Okay, good. I like that picture. I think he will too. This one, I'm going to come in a little tighter since I have it. It's kind of an extra picture. It's kind of almost a throwaway, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to go like this, keep a little bit of that beautiful doorway in it, actually get some of that doorknob, door handle. So a little bit of the architecture here, show the placards in the back. So I'm going to bring it right up like that. Increase the black point a little bit. And I think he's going to be pleased with that shot. Now, why why'd I have to get that head in this one? That head kind of, I'm going to crop hip, crop that out. Otherwise, I like the picture. So I'm going to do like that, leave a little bit of that ribbon in it. There we go. And bring the exposure up just a little bit. Again, I, I try not to gild the lily here. I try not to do too much work on these pictures. Um, these are duplicates. I'll just take these out. Um, but at the same time, if I can take a few moments here just to clean a few things up, brighten a few things up, um, these folks I, th I think will will appreciate it down the road when they want to take a trip down memory lane and remember this very important event that took place in Washington County, Maryland, USA. not doing much with any white balance or anything here. Um, again, I'm just trying to go through rather quickly here. This is when they turned the lights on. We had a little thunderstorm. Turned the lights on. I like that red glow that that light is adding. Keep this one because it shows the ramp, the wheelchair accessibility. And again, those are those red lights coming up, and I kind of like that color. Um, so I took a little close-up of that, and here's another one. 
And I shoot in raw, so I can bring up the exposure quite a bit if I underexpose a little bit, which again, I'd rather underexpose than overexpose. If I overexpose and you blow it out, it's very hard to bring back the highlights. That's almost a duplicate. I'm going to take that one out. I've also been asked why I share all this information, why I share all these tips and tricks and so forth, and you know your competitors are going to do it and so on. Hey, I want everybody to do good, good things and use the internet for positive things and share information like this on the internet. It only helps the entire community. The more people that do this sort of thing, in my humble opinion, the better. So have at it. If you need help with any of this, I'm, I'm always willing to help. And publish your content on our network. You know, if you want to do an article like I'm going to do on WashingtonCounty.com about this event, you're more than welcome to do it too. Absolutely. Share content like this. As long as it's family friendly, positive content. There's enough people out there that report bad news. I, we like to report good news. I'm going to crop this one a little bit. That's kind of a nice shot. Those two holding hands and a nice big smile there. Kind of like that shot. Okay. out that previous one I don't really need that one actually yeah we'll actually we'll keep them both I'll take this one out keep that keep that Okay. The cookies were really good. They were my downfall. Too many chocolate chip cookies. These were two of the VIPs that were involved in the event, so I like to get a picture of them cutting the cake. And took a few pictures when I was leaving. The, the, it just rained, and, and sometimes you get some really beautiful colors and all when everything's nice and wet. So that looks nice. 
I'll keep that. What the heck? Flowers are beautiful there. Almost duplicates. I will keep. I'll keep the first one. And that's a good picture. Do two of them. Do one cropped a little closer. Okay. Nice portrait of those two young ladies. Okay, so that wraps that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to take out all the ones that I flagged here. I'm going to sort the uh, flagged ones. Okay, so these are the extras. And I'm going to select all of those and take them into the trash. Okay. And back to the projects, go back to the same project, and this time all of them. Now I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park these pictures in a photo upload folder, make sure I got an empty folder here. Okay, I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, export these to there. I'm going to select all of them. I've got 84 pictures. So I'm going to export 84 of them in high quality JPEGs. Okay, there they go. 84 of them going over. Okay, while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and um, launch my browser, Chrome, which I normally have running anyway, but I had shut it down earlier. So I'm going to launch that, get get it loading up everything, because we're going to have to start doing the the internet thing here in a minute. Okay, so I'll go ahead and minimize this main window of Chrome, let all those load in, and then uh oh, sounds like I've got a video running. Where is that? Let me pause my recording until I find what video is running. All right, yeah, that was a Nissan Leaf commercial that I'd been running um, when I had Chrome up last, so I launched Chrome, it starts running again. The new N N Nissan Leaf commercial where they compare it to, um, well, they kind of attack the uh, Chevy Volt, that the fact that the Volt is not 100% electric. Anyway. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm in um, iMovie here, and I'm going to start a new project. And I'm going to call this Washington County Museum. Um, what did they call this thing? Atrium. Okay, Washington County Museum Atrium. Okay, so I'm going to create this project. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, I'm going to start the upload process on before I get to this editing. I'm going to start uploading the. Um, the photos. So I'm going to get my Picasso web album uploader going here. Okay, and select the photos, all of them here. This way these can be uploading in the background while I um,
Okay. All right, so those are uploading there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get them uploading to um, Flickr as well, all at the same time. Only 80 some odd pictures, so they're going to upload pretty quick. Okay, so they're uploading there. I'll, I'll upload to Facebook after these two finish uploading. And, um, well, actually, let's go ahead and get Facebook started too. What the heck? I don't like when people post on my wall. Delete that. Okay, and then um, photos. I'm going to go ahead and upload all of these photos to uh, Facebook as well. Town, Maryland. Okay, so I'm uploading them to there. Now let's get back to um, iMovie. Bring iMovie over here, okay. All right, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put all the clips in that I want, and then I'm going to put some music behind it. Because I didn't really even attempt to get the audio, to record the audio from the event. I just, I just got snippets. So... The idea here is just to give folks a look at what happened, just grab the, the site. So let's see what we got so far here. Whatchamacallit has finished uploading uh, Picasa. 
don't view that right now. Okay. So what I do is I just quickly, quickly brush over the clip and make sure that I get what I want um, out of that clip. And then move on. So this is just a really series of so this one shows the lights. Let's see what that looks like. I'm liking that. This is showing the light. Okay, and then this one. Trying to capture the feel of the event. Okay. So the ribbon cutting. All the VIPs getting in place for that. Okay, and that. Okay, and then cake cutting here. I was on the wrong side really for that. Let's see. Here. Okay, so we'll take that clip. Whoops, and then we'll go over to the other side. I went over to the other side and shot over here. Okay, then this shows the view from the lobby into the atrium. I don't know if I can this one. Right yeah, I'll keep that because it kind of shows how you get into it, or one way you get into it. And then I did a couple of clips outside. Okay, so these will be good for a little wrap up. Gorgeous, gorgeous grounds. Told that an understudy to the gentleman who designed New York Central Park was the one that designed this. I'm not 100% sure that that's true, but that's what I've been told. And I wouldn't be surprised because this park is very beautiful. It's very much looks like a, a, a takeoff on New York Central Park. Using natural, the natural topography that they have there in Hagerstown, the, the natural hills and, and so forth, and rocks and, and all that. Whereas uh, New York Central Park had to be manufactured, it was all man made pretty much. 
this one's more natural. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're almost done here. That's a little jumpy. Let's see what we got. Here. Nah, I don't like that one. We're not going to use that clip. Okay. All right, so I got all the clips in here. So what I'm going to do now, it's five minutes and seven seconds long total. I'm going to try to find myself some music to go behind this. Oh, uh, let's see here. I might need to do a couple of songs or something long. Maybe I'll do a couple of Marvin Goldstein songs. Okay, there's the dance. Can't go wrong with Marvin's piano music. So let me try that. Let's put the dance behind here. Okay. And then um, we're going to need something else. What's this one here? Sugar Plum fair Fairies here. Try to use that. Okay. And that takes us right to the very end. Okay, that's that's good. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in um, my titles and credits and so forth. So, bring this lower third into there. I like these two-line lower thirds because it gives me a lot of flexibility. So here I'm going to put the title. Museum. And I'm going to call this subtitle. What did they call this? An inaugural atrium event. A realized vision. event. Okay, good. I'll use their same title, the title of this video, and I'm going to let that run for uh, 12 seconds. Oh, before I do that, i got to select all of these clips and get rid of the um, audio on them. I'm going to kill the audio on all of these clips. Give it all that background noise. Okay, so here we go. put in here in the way of a credit or whatever. Looks like they named it. So, let's go ahead and put that in there. Um, looks like this can come in as one 
lower here. So we're going to call this um, So center that. Okay, and then I need another line of text. Done. Need another line of text. And this is atrium dedication. Dedication atrium and measure seven times and cut once on this because once these are baked in here, you got to live with them. So this doesn't need to be 19 seconds, so I'm going to cut this back and move this down. Okay, so it'll look like this. the date on here. I usually don't do this, but since this is a very important day, I'm going to put the date. about here video by actually I'm going to do um, right here I'm going to do Washington County Atrium. good place to put another box with their address, with their website. I'm going to put it over here because there's a lot of space to fill there. So what is their website address?
I'm going to have to find it. They didn't even put their website address on the literature. So they got WashingtonCountyMuseum.org. Make sure this is the right place. I don't know if this is the right place. I don't think that's it. Um, H Hagerstown. I'm going to say Hagerstown. I think that's in Oregon. Here it is. Museum of Fine Arts. This is it. Okay, so I got an identity issue too here. Okay, so I'm going to say www. wcmfa.org. but also see okay
Credits in here, and I'm going to overlap this. Bring this over here like so. Okay, I'm going to have to, um, I've kind of jerked this around a little bit, iMovie, so what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to close iMovie. This is a little trick that you want to learn about iMovie is whenever you're working it pretty hard <clears throat> and if it starts acting up on you, or here's the photos and uh, skip tagging friends for now. Um, go ahead and relaunch it. Go ahead and relaunch iPhoto. It'll self-save everything, but just relaunch it when it if it if it starts like it's acting up, because um, uh, otherwise, if you if you let it lock up or something like that, you might actually. It hasn't really happened to me, but it's possible you could lose some content and lose some of your work. So. If it starts getting jerky or acting up, just shut it down and relaunch it, and then it gets a whole new handshake on the available memory and all of that, and uh, should solve that any any issues. <clears throat> so, just to recap, I've um, brought the photos in, I've uploaded them to Flickr, Facebook, and Picasa. I've now edited the movie. Um, didn't do a lot of editing, really. Just put the clips in, put some uh, some text on, some graphics, um, and uh, put some music behind. And now I'm getting ready to do the final credits at the end. And then after I do that, I will... Um, uh, export it for my movie. The movie's taking its sweet time here loading up. Hmm. Interesting. So we'll let it load up. One thing that does affect this a little bit is when I'm using ScreenFlow, which I'm using right now to record all of this, that's putting additional load on the whole system where I'm trying to simultaneously record all of this um, while I do all this production work so that can load things down a little bit. Okay, got iPhoto back up. I'm putting another subtitle here right at the end. WashingtonCounty.com keyword. Let's see, I want to use, um, I guess I'll use HM. That should be unique enough to pull up this article. Um, and I'm going to say for many photos. Because once they get on the article, then they're going to also see links to the photos on Facebook and on uh, Flickr. Okay. And I'm going to um, yeah, let's extend that out to to a little longer. Nine seconds should be fine. So I want to do a music credit too. Um, bring this up. Music. Uh, helps if I click on it here. 
music by and Marvin Goldstein let me get his website address here make sure I get it right I think it's Marvin Goldstein, but let me just make sure. Yep, he's got MarvinGoldstein.com. So I'm going to say S T E I N dot com, MarvinGoldstein.com. Again, just double check all of this to make sure there's not a typo. Because once it's baked into the video, you got to redo the daggone thing. Oh, wait. What happened there? Oh, I want it centered. Done. Okay. Done. Music by MarvinGoldstein.com. Yeah, I could put his name there, but that's not going to help anybody. I want to put his website address so people can go there and buy it. acting a little bit jerky. Never really had I, iMovie act like this. I'm going to, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to close iMovie one more time and relaunch it. And then I'm going to export the movie from iMovie. And again, it could just simply be the situation where I'm, I'm using the resources of the computer pretty heavily by by recording everything I'm doing here um, using ScreenFlow. That's kind of like taxing everything a little bit here. So assuming this comes up okay, I'm going to go ahead and export the movie and we'll see what um, what happens then. Okay, iMovie's back up here, so I'm going to go to um, bring back up Chrome. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see, go to the share mode here, export movie, and I'm going to do it as a full 1080p, Washington County Museum Atrium. Okay, export. And one advantage here is, since it's only five minutes long, this, the file size, should be under one gigabyte. So I should even be able to upload this same exact video to Facebook. Um, YouTube's not an issue. I've got, uh, I've got an extended account on YouTube, so I can put up an hour-long movie on YouTube if I want to, because I've got a, a special account with them. Um, but Facebook has a restriction 20 minutes is the maximum length and one gigabyte file size. So this one should be within that. And then of course Vimeo where I can put the videos up to for downloading. So you can download uh, Vimeo. I have a pro account there. So that's not a problem. I can put a large file up there um, which people can download. So we're going to let this go ahead and, and export this project. It's going to take, um, it says 18 minutes. It'll probably take a little less than that. Um, and uh, so I'm going to pause this recording and let that do that, and I'm going to get myself something to eat, and then we'll be back, and we'll be ready to uh, upload the video and uh, put the article together. Okay, I ate way too many chocolate chip cookies at the event, and I decided not to eat. Um, I just went and got a little drink. Um, this is going very fast. The uh, exporting is going very fast. It's down to six minutes which means it's going to be quicker than that. So I'm going to take that off to the side, off to my other monitor here, let that continue to export. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on the article. We're going to go ahead and, um, and build the article. And I'm going to go to WashingtonCounty.com. Okay. And um, I'm going to make sure I'm logged in, go to my member login in the upper right-hand corner and log myself in. And um, I 
usually um, uh, it remembers who you are so you don't have to go through that login procedure. I got 11 events pending approval. I'm going to go ahead and approve those while I'm here. Baltimore and Arundel, there's a Vicky put those in. Looks like they're good. I'm going to go ahead and approve those. Okay, and the rest of this can wait. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little link that says Submit Article. Okay, Submit an Article. <coughs> Okay. Okay, so let's see what we got here again. One more time. We've got um So I'm going to say today. The Washington County Museum of Fine Arts held the Realized Vision and Inaugural Event. Today, the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts held the realized vision, and I'll put that in quotes, event. Okay, so I'm going to copy that, put that up here in the description. <coughs> Authors Craig Ship, Airy Events, Airy News Headlines, Day Trip, yep, Education, Entertainment, Family, yep, all these things, General. Uh, home and garden, people, politics were involved. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to publish this regionally because this is a very important place. So I'm going to publish this on all the regional, so all the sites in this area, Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area. And I'll put my own banner ad on here publish your own articles, you can put your banner ad on too. So that's the beauty of the Area Guides Network. You can publish your own articles, just like I'm doing here. You can do the same thing, and you can put a link to your website, plug your business, whatever you want to do. As long as it's good good content, uh, we're going to let it fly. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, i got to grab the pictures from Picasso and can embed a photo slideshow. All right. Embed slideshow. 800. Autoplay, I do not check because I want them to start it manually so they don't miss any pictures. Okay. I'm going to make Empire Avenue pen tab. I'm going to use that quite often now, I think. 
I like it. Okay, so. <coughs> um, so i got to go down here to text field 3 and embed my slideshow. There it is. Center that puppy. Now, get underneath it and... Okay, then, whoops, F -F 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 -L -I -C -K -R. okay, then, notice I use text expander for those things that I use often, just have to let left justify that now. And left justify that one. Okay, now one thing I do need to do is I need to get the link from from uh, Flickr to the pictures on Flickr. So I need to put them in a set so that I can get the link to that set. So I'll do that right now. And. Here are the pictures on Flickr. Add to a set. Uh oh, no, I don't want that text. I'm sorry. I want some different text here. I want this text here. And I'll be adding to this text in a little while. And then for the lead picture, I'm going to put this wide shot that really shows the, the atrium. And I'm going to have the oldest ones first. And save that. And all right, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I can come back and edit this later. All right, so I'm going to put this in Washington County Events set here. Again, this is part of that organizing I was telling you about, making these things easy to find later. I've got collections, and then I've got sets. So you can drill down, and you can find what you need. Okay, so I'm going to go in here, go to the link for the set, and copy this URL. I don't need this with part here. <clears throat> need this part. Okay, so that's what I'm going to link to for the Flickr photos. So I go down here to the links, and it says click here to download the photos from Flickr. And I go ahead and link it to that URL that I just copied. Okay, click here for a full screen slideshow. Again, that's Flickr, and in this case, I just add the word show. Put a slash, S-H-O-W, that'll make that a slideshow. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put video coming soon because I don't have the video up yet. Because this article is going live right now. I'm not going to put it on the headlines yet because it's not completed, but it's going live right away. So people are going to be able to see the photos right away. All right, so that article's published. We've got six more minutes remaining on exporting the um, video from iMovie. So let's let this refresh and make sure that the article is up safely. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and view the article. There it is. There's the article up with the slideshow with all those download links and so forth. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, since we've got six more minutes left on exporting the video from iMovie, I'm going to go ahead and pause my screencast now and let that finish doing its thing because then i got to upload that to YouTube. 
and then we're ready to add the video and then we're getting close to being done the the uh, the folks at the museum are going to email me some more information to add to this um, and I might have some in my email already to add to this so I'll be adding some more information about people that made this happen, sponsors and so forth, and, and some maybe some links to some websites. Um, but you can get the idea. We're, we're whittling away at this, and we're getting close to uh, a, a finished product here as far as at least our multimedia, our pictures and our videos and so forth, video clips. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for now, and then we'll be right back with you. Okay, the movie's been exported now from uh, iMovie um, in 1080p HD, so I'm going to go full screen here. And I'm going to go ahead and play this and see what the finished product looks like.
that ending was a little abrupt. I should have uh, I should have tapered the, the music down, um, but anyway, it's good enough. I'm gonna live with it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get out a QuickTime player and upload this puppy. Um, I'm generally happy with the, the end result. So we're gonna go here to YouTube and first of all, let me make sure I got this in my clipboard. Probably gathered by now. I'm not a very good typist, so I like to copy and paste anytime I can. So I'm going to go ahead and go to upload and find this puppy on the desktop here, Washington County. There it is. And put it in here in the description. And I'm going to put a link uh, for photo C. I'll put a link to the article. Here's the article. It's one good thing is YouTube now, for quite a while now, they've, they've allowed you to put URLs in the description. And they will make it a hot link. So that's a big plus. Putting some keywords in here. And again, I can edit this later. I can add to some and so forth. Um, and I'm going to call this an event. Um, save that, save those changes. So uh, this is saying now it's going to be 14 minutes to upload this puppy to YouTube. And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little break while this uploads to YouTube and um, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, it's about another, it says eight minutes, fluctuating between eight and six minutes um, uploading to uh, YouTube. So not a whole lot more time this thing will be uploaded to YouTube. So what I want to do now is I'm going to get a photo to use as a representative photo um, and kind of like this one. I'm going to take a portion of this photo and put it on my desktop. I want to show enough of the atrium. I want to show a little bit of this bush, a little bit of the floor. Boom. Okay, so I'll take that portion of the picture. <coughs> that, excuse me, that was putting a screenshot on my desktop. And again, I'm willing to help anybody out with any of this that they want to learn how to do this. I don't charge for that sort of help. I just want people to be able to share things on the internet. Okay, I'm going to bring it into image. Well, of course, I use a Mac computer, which I highly recommend if you're going to do a lot of graphics and photos and things like that. Use a Macintosh just make life easier on yourself and so museum A -T -R -I -U -M, museum atrium okay and I make the height of this 200 this is just a like a small thumbnail image for me to use for the headline on WashingtonCounty.com so I'm gonna save that Museum Atrium on my desktop. Okay, so now I've got the image. So I'm going to go back here. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to um, WashingtonCounty.com and I'm going to go to the home page and I'm going to click on Edit Scroller Content. And this is something that, that only admins can do. So you can email us. You can email me, Craig, at Frederick.com. If you publish an article and you want it on the headlines, let us know. We'll put it on the headlines for you. Um, we're working on making this available so that anybody can do this. Um, so I want to get this little description here. This is one of the few things that that you need our help to do. Most everything else, you can publish your own articles most everything else you can do yourself. So 
so I'm formatting this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let's do this. Let's insert the image in here. And again, we called it uh, Museum Atrium. We put it right here on the desktop so we can find it easily. And again, this is one of the things on the site that's a little bit hokey, a little bit difficult to do. Um, and we're working on making this easier for everybody to do this. So I want to bold this. I want to get the link to the article. There it is. Notice I'm using tabs in Google Chrome to, so I can tab back and forth to the things I'm working on very quickly. Saves a lot of time. I've watched a lot of people and they're minimizing windows and relaunching windows and going through all kinds of rigmarole just to do what I'm doing here, tabbing back and forth between tabs. Okay, so now this has got to be sized down. This is going to be way too much text. It's going to blow it out. So I'm going to make that extra small. Actually, I'm going to make it small. Okay. And I'm going to put a title in here. And I'm going to save that. And then I've got to renumber some of these things here. Art in Bloom, edit, I'm going to make that number seven. That was at the museum as well. So I'm going to bump that. And then uh, Mummer's Parade, I'm going to make that number eight. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to make something number one. So I'm going to make this number one. So I'll have my headlines in order. Okay, so now if I go to the home page, should be the first headline. There it is. That shows the atrium very nice. So if I click on that, that's going to go right to the article. Okay, good. So I've got the headline up, got the article up. The only thing I'm waiting on now is YouTube to finish uploading and processing. And I'm going to give this some time to process. It's got one minute left of uploading. So I'm going to give it a few minutes to process. And uh, we'll be back and we'll add that and we're on the home stretch here. Okay, the video is uploaded and it's still processing on YouTube. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and upload it to uh, Facebook. But first I'm going to confirm that the file size is not too large. So I'm going to right mouse click on this and I'm going to get the info on it. And this is 791 megabytes, so it's less than a gigabyte. So it's within Facebook's parameters, and it's less than 20 minutes long. So I'm going to go here to Facebook, and Photos, and Videos, and add a new video. And again, I'm going to go to my desktop. Okay, <coughs> and I'm going to get my description again here, same description, okay, and the same deal, I'm going to make a link, And give it the same title. And I'm going to put a link here. And I'm going to say for download links. Link. 
like whoops see all right and um, save it okay so that's 23 minutes it's going to take to upload to Facebook while it's doing that I'm going to let that process a little bit on YouTube the important thing is getting it up on YouTube because this is where I'm going to use to, this is what I'm going to use to embed it in the article it's good to also have it on Facebook so people can tag themselves in the video and all on Facebook and so when they're within that gated community of Facebook they can also access this information I will also once it's uploaded to Facebook I'll up upload it to Vimeo because from there you can download the full 1080p HD version so if you want to play it locally on your computer or on your big screen TV you want to have the best possible quality um, you can do that so let me pause this again and let it upload a little bit to uh, Facebook let this video process a little bit and then we're uh, almost done okay I'm gonna give the YouTube video a little more time to process and but what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna to go to uh, it's still uploading by the way here at uh, Facebook it says 19 minutes remaining I'm gonna go back to um, Flickr and I'm gonna go ahead and do some uh, tagging on these video on these photos and add them to a couple of groups so I'm going to say same thing content uploaded today this is all I've uploaded today so bring them in a batch I'm gonna add tags so we know they were all taken in Washington County so I can tag in Washington County they were also taken in Hagerstown and so I tagged them Hagerstown they were also taken at the museum so again I'm going to go back here and get these keywords that I might need go here and say these keywords in here so I'm going to take out the words held the and I'm going to go back here um, and put Washington County so if you put them in quotes it makes them one unit for keyword purposes Museum of Fine Arts realized vision I'm going to make that a keyword an inaugural atrium event I'm going to leave all those separate words <clears throat> okay and I'm going to add the word art separate and museum Se as separate words and then I'm going to add the word Maryland all right, so I'm going to add all those tags to all of those words all those pictures and this is for SEO and for search engine purposes and so forth and it, I can add tags later to some of the others that are that make them you know the more descriptive of the photos so that you can find them later on whole purpose for tags is is for them to be found later on and adding them to groups and sets and all of that so I'm gonna add these send them to the group I think we've got a Washington County group that we're a member of yeah here it is Washington County Maryland so I'm gonna add these to that group they're all taken there <clears throat> okay so we're adding these to that the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tag these with a location and let me see if I can copy that oh, that's a graphic I hate when they put the graphic Okay, go to about the museum here we go here's the address so I'll be able to find that address so I'm going to say okay so I'm going to say location add items to the map again this is all functionality built into Flickr 
put in the address there and it has looks like it found it is this is this it oh this is probably it here yeah that's the museum right there so what I can do is select all these pictures drag them right on top of that 58 whoops I didn't drag it far enough gotta get my mouse in position to drag it far enough there we go add them right to that spot so that's where they were all taken <clears throat> it'll be so much better when Nikon comes out with a camera with built-in GPS I have to hook an external one onto it and that's a pain they should add built-in GPS to all these cameras okay so that's that so go back to batch organize and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this batch. I've got a Maryland group that I can add some of these pictures to. I don't want to add them all. So I kind of like this picture here. Kind of like this one. And I like this one of her cutting the cake. That one's good. Um, this, one's, this one's good. Uh, well, actually, I want to show the atrium. Let's take that one. And let me see, anything else? That one came out pretty good for the Maryland group. Okay, that's enough. So I'm going to send these to a group. I'm going to send them to the Maryland group. It's way down here. Here it is, Maryland. I think it'll let us me do six items. Okay, good. So I'm adding all those to the Maryland group. All right, so that's enough for now. Actually, let me see if there's a Hagerstown group. I don't know if there is or not that I'm a member of. Hagerstown, no. No, there's no Hagerstown. Okay, so that's enough for now. I've done the Flickr thing. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to YouTube and see if this thing is processed enough, ready to be in embedded yeah okay so as long as the thumbnail is showing up it's good to go all right so and I like that thumbnail they selected so I'm gonna go ahead and go in here you can see here it's available all the way up to 1080p so it's fully processed so I'm gonna click on share I'm gonna get the embed code there it is I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna go back to my article which is waiting on the video see where it says video coming soon I'm going to click here and that's in uh, text field 2. I'm going to click through the source code and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete out what's there. I'm going to paste in that's the code for the video and I'm going to put a little centering command here. Two of these little brackets and the word center. It's all the HTML that I'm going to do today for you. And I'm going to say source. Now there we go. That's embedded in the article. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this we're on the home stretch now. <clears throat> Saving it to WashingtonCounty.com. All right, now I'm going to go and I'm going to view this article just to make sure that it's ready to go. And again, I can edit this anytime. I can add to it. I can improve on it. Um, anything we want. So um, now if I scroll down, I've got the video embedded right in here so people can click right here and play the video. video and then I've got the photo slideshow again they can click and just play that right here okay and I kind of like that then um, down below I've got click here to download the above photos from Flickr that takes me to the Flickr photo set so if I click on that you can see here that takes me to the set okay and and now I need to add the um, link to the article here now that I have it so here it is whoops it was already selected I just deselected it okay there we go and I'm gonna put it whoops where was I I was here okay I'm gonna put it right here I'm gonna say for video see right and I'm gonna put the link there to that article Okay, so I've done that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up a couple of notches here, back to the article. 
and here we are. And again, if we want to do a full screen slideshow, we got a link here we click on, and that's going to take us to a full screen slideshow on Flickr. Again, the same photos on Flickr as a slideshow. All right, so let's go back, get out of this. Then back here, we've got all this text that we added from their press mailing, and then a note regarding the photos, and then links and all for downloading. And so that's kind of in the can, done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire URL. And I'm going to go to TweetDeck, which I have open all the time in another tab here. Again, saving time having all these tabs open. And I'm going to say, um, check out my video and photos from the Actually, I'm not going to go through all that. The heck with that. I'm just going to get the text from the from the article. Okay, I'm going to copy all that, and I'm going to put that in here. Okay. Okay. Today, the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts held the Realized vision and other event. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm just going to say C and I'll copy the URL in here. Whoops, I got to go back and get the URL. Da 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 da. There it is. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to put a couple of keywords in here. Hagerstown. Okay. I'm going to take today the, I'm going to take that out of there. Washington County Museum of Fine Arts held the, I'm going to take that out. Okay, Washington County Museum of Fine Arts, Realized Vision, and blah, 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 blah. See, I'm going to say see photos. Okay, now I'm down to 15 characters left, which is fine. That's enough for most people to retweet this. Okay, so I've got uh, Craig Ship. I'm sending it to. I'm going to go ahead and send it to Area Cable. I'm going to send it to my Tech TV show link. I'm going to go ahead and send it to Frederick County and Frederick Live. What the heck? Uh, not City of Frederick. I'm going to send it to the Area Guides Facebook page. Um, okay, that's enough for now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot this out to all of those Twitter and Facebook feeds right now. I'm going to hit it and make sure that's all spelled right. It looks good to me. So I'm going to hit send. So I fired it out to all of those um, feeds with links to it. So we've done pretty good so far, and I'm going to probably put it in some blogs and um, blog some of the photos with links to the article and so forth, uh, some various places uh, starting tomorrow, Monday. Um, and then I'll send some emails out to some of the people that were there and involved in the event and so forth. But we you pretty much have it in the bag here. Um, that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this screencast. Um, I appreciate anybody that tuned in that wants to learn about this sort of thing. This is the future. This is what we call self-publishing, where you can generate your own content and publish it. We provide a network and a platform for you to do that, the Area Guides Network. We have all these local community websites like WashingtonCounty.com for Washington County, Maryland, USA, Frederick.com for Frederick, LoudonCounty.com for Loudon County, Virginia. We've got a whole bunch of them. So go to AreaGuides.com and learn more. And get involved in your online community. This is what social media is all about. Thanks for tuning in.